the woman at church or the teacher at our school or the woman that we in- encounter as we're going um, into our various places that we, we interact with on a business day-to-day basis could be a victim of domestic violence. And the difference between her survival and not could be what we say or do or how we react when something happens in our lives. And so what we hope that this walk does, number one, brings awareness around the issue of domestic violence in our community. But number two, it helps us as community uh, representatives to educate ourselves about domestic violence and what we individually can do uh, to impact this. Earlier this year, I had um, a Facebook friend contact me regarding a domestic violence incident um, involving her sister. And when she talked to me about the issue, she so- talked to me about every part of the system that seemed to fail her, sis- her sister in really addressing the issue. Um, and what I, I, what I took out of that was that we all are part of the system. We are people who serve on juries. We are people who, um, to, who elect our elected officials who make laws regarding domestic violence. And so it all starts with us. And so your presence here today is very important because starting with all of us, we know that we can take steps against domestic violence, not just today physically, but every day in the things that we do in our everyday lives. So again, I am honored to be here as your mistress of ceremonies. I'm glad that you are here, and I hope that we're empowered today to then uh, go out after today and start doing some more in our community to help address domestic violence in our community and nationally. Right now, we are here for the 10th anniversary of the Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence. And this is the City of Columbia's opportunity to bring awareness uh, towards an issue that uh, not only plagues our community, but communities throughout the nation. Um, But unfortunately, South Carolina has traditionally always ranked very high in incidents of domestic violence. And so um, we started this walk uh, several years ago um, in an opportunity to bring awareness around this issue um, during Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I'm just really excited because over the years, uh, support has grown, uh, the number of walkers have grown, uh, the enthusiasm and the excitement um, of individual people wanting to participate and say, what more can I do? What can I do to help um, ensure that domestic violence um, is addressed in our community? And so this is just, I think, a testament to what uh, Um, people can do if they join forces. Um, Of course, this is led by our mayor, Steve Benjamin, and the city of Columbia, but it it is certainly um, a community effort. And you can see by the enthusiasm of the people here that um, really we have a lot of people who want to address domestic violence in our community. Well, it's really exciting to see the way the numbers have grown. Um, When we came up with the idea for this, um, we really actually uh, um, were thinking about the uh, breast cancer walk. Um, and how that started, of course, that's been about 24, 25 years since that started. But we were saying how, you know, on that Saturday here in the capital city, I mean, you can see a a sea of pink throughout the city. And we were like, wouldn't it be great if we could bring that same attention and awareness around domestic violence? Um, And so we started off that first year, we had less than 200 walkers. Um, Today, we're expecting over a thousand walkers, which is really exciting. And so every year, more and more people come out and they want to be a part of it. And I think the the reason that it means so much is because, um, you know, not to take away from any other cause, but there are causes that people um, can gravitate towards because they know it's a good cause and they don't mind being associated with it. Domestic violence is one that there's a stigma. Uh, People feel like if you're interested in domestic violence, it must be because you're a victim or survivor or someone that you know has been in that situation. And statistics show that all of us know someone who has been in that situation, whether we know it or not. But the reality is you don't have to be a survivor or a victim of domestic violence to know that it's a problem and it's important. And so I think that's what this walk has been able uh, to do. It has been able to to uh, rally people around an issue that a lot of people don't want to talk about, that there's still a stigma about, that there's still a problem in our community and people tend not to talk about, and, and give them the tools and information and the support necessary to talk about it. Um, and that's the only way we're going to really address it in our community is if we talk about it and bring awareness around it. I think the one message that I would hope that people get out of this is that we all have a role to play in combating domestic violence in our community. 
Um, it starts with making ourselves aware of the problem and educating ourselves so that we are not part of the problem. We don't um, say things to um, victims or survivors that further um, victimize them, um, that we understand that our court systems and our criminal justice system and our communities and our churches and faith community, all of us um, have a role to play. And if the more educated we are about the issue, the better we can uh, utilize that role to empower um, change in this in this area.